Ellen McCauley at Pray It Up. Remember I told you I went to physical therapy out in Syracuse, New York on September 14, 2023. And the physical therapist says, I want to help you improve your core. And I'm like, what is that again? Could you refresh my memory? I have in here eight best core exercises for seniors, but it isn't just for seniors, it's for anybody. If you don't have a strong core, why not start with the senior exercises and work your way back up? How easy is the, and you do it five to 10 times, either per side or per, per exercise. The first one is you sit in the chair, put your hands out, bend over, put your legs out, bend over. It's easy, I even included the photos. This, and remember to breathe and tighten your stomach. That's the most, this is your core, this is the core. So when you're doing this, and you got your arm down, you're breathing, and you're tightening your core. You do it five times, you can do it in a chair, you can do it standing up, and you go to the other side, 10 times. It's not rocket science, everybody. I always say to people, do something. The next one is you lift your legs, OMG. I'm in this gym class and there's this lady in front of me and I said, how long have you been doing this? She's, I thought she was my age, she's 66, I'm 69. She says, I retired a year ago and I was in the worst shape and I've lost 50 pounds and now, because she's grabbing her legs, sticking it up in the air and I'm like, oh my God, Patty, you're amazing. And then she said, yeah, well, three years ago, my husband got ALS and he died and then my dad got uh, Alzheimer's and he died and then my mother got pancreatic cancer and she died, so I lost three of my favorite persons in my whole life within three months. Oh and I think yeah. everyone's got a story. Yeah. Everyone does. But she's doing good, and that's my goal. <laughs> and balance is so important. And this here, you tuck your legs in, you take them out, you tuck it in. It's just all so easy until we get to number six. And number six is you're on the ground. If you get on the ground and you cannot get back up. You know, I don't know about you guys, but in 1986, that commercial came out. I've fallen and I can't get up. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh my God, that could be me. I could be lying there, oh my God. So, if you can't do number six, but number seven, and you know what I kept calling it, the dog and pony show, and you said it was downward dog, it's actually <coughs> bird dog. When you put one arm out and your leg up, that's called bird dog, if you're on your knees. But I say on number seven, the Superman, and number eight, the glute bridges, do it in bed. I've been doing it in bed, and you still, if you tighten those muscles, you still get a lot out of it. And then I've even explained what those muscles are. There's names for them, and there's things that they do. They help you sit. They help you do the stairs. They help you <coughs> twist and bend, and you always have to breathe. When I'm in these classes at the gym, I'm like, breathe out, breathe in. I do exactly what they say. You know, that's a good, when I said to the nutritionist, I said to her, you tell me what to do and I will do exactly what you say. She goes, for some reason I believe you. <laughs> she goes, I don't always believe people, but I believe you. Same with the teacher. She says to breathe in and breathe it in. She says to breathe out and breathe it out. Those are the experts. Breathe in, breathe out. You gotta breathe. And then it says, how long will it take for your core to strengthen? And you got to do it a couple of times a week, or every day, really, I think. It improves your posture, it reduces back pain, <laughs> it helps you with balance and coordination. And now, we're, there's only going to be two videos this week because I knew I had multiple awards. I want to talk about, remember last week, and I have to say that because sometimes people are like, last week, was I here? Yes, yes, you were here. <laughs> last week I told you that the first thing the nutritionist did was give me a 1,500 calorie diet. Now this is before I had the consultation because I'm not on a 1,500 calorie diet, I can tell you that right now. But, and then these recipes. So, several people made the oatmeal uh, muffins, and they went nuts over them. I mean, uh, Michelle, Cindy, they said they were the greatest things ever. And other people had that hummus 
uh, sandwich, and they love that too. So I say to you, try the recipes. And when I, I gave today, I gave out cheap pan chicken fajita bowls. That's now the bowl isn't some big piece of carb. The bowl is a bowl. You get a bowl, you put the stuff in it. That's the bowl, okay? And it's easy. If you look at it, it's easy. So read that, and it's a nice recipe, and it's a chicken recipe. Then there's chipotle lime cauliflower taco bowls. And you might say, well, Ellen, I don't like lime. Don't put lime in it and call it uh, something else. You can do whatever you want because you're the boss of you. But I really applaud people who are trying to do something different. Eat something different. And then when I've given out all the recipes, I will give out that diet. And I want to play a song tonight that really, um, really spoke to my heart. Because so many people think if you have a strong faith that nothing bad's ever going to happen to you. That you're never going to lose someone you love. Or that you're going to join a weight loss group and lose 50 pounds and never gain it back. It doesn't make life easier. It makes it more bearable. And it can even give you joy in the midst of very difficult times. And so I'd like to play this song. I'm trying out different Bluetooth machines. So I'm trying this one out tonight. So let's see how it works. I'm going to stop right there.